Joined now by a guy I've been waiting to interview probably since I met your running back from last year, wow. Max Brosmer, wow. Minnesota quarterback, transfer from New Hampshire. So we met Dylan Lau at the mm -hmm. Senior Bowl. Mm -hmm. He had some very nice things to say about you. Now's your chance to say any nice things you need to say about him. Because yeah. I can't, like, that guy's a quarterback's best friend, oh, yeah. a running back who you can hand it to him and you can throw it to him and he can do anything. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we roomed together for uh, three years, I think. Wow. We were roommates for three years. We had some good memories together, uh, both on and off the field. Um, he's an outstanding individual. I, I, I had a blast playing with him and, and being his roommate and, and going through college together. And, um, you know, I, I can't thank him enough for, for what he did for the team and but also just, just being friends outside of football and now you get darius taylor yeah that's a pretty good yeah pretty good trade because because dylan's with the raiders now so yeah. no no hope of, of getting him but we <laughs> we talked to darius earlier today and and he's a sophomore in college and he's talking about all the stuff he does to take care of his body it's yeah. like it's like look listening to an nfl like 10-year veteran mm -hmm. yeah and that's got to be exciting he's an extremely mature individual for, yeah. for how young he is you, yeah you forget he's a second year in college <laughs> Um, you know, he had an outstanding year last year as a freshman and he, he comes in as a sophomore and he's, he's talking like he's been here for five years. Yeah. Um, so it's cool to have that in the room and, um, it's cool to have him with such a unique, you know, skill set um, in the backfield. So you're from Georgia, right? And, yep, and you brought the, the skill guys down mm -hmm. to Georgia. Yep. How important was it to, to get to know them, get, let them get to know you? Yeah. Yeah. We have, we have very limited time. Um, you know, I, I just got here in January, so I've been here for six, seven months, I think think it's been now yeah um so you know they're on the same page the fact that you know we we only have so long together in order to you know to be successful this season and uh, to train and, and build chemistry on and off the field um and so when i when i pitched the idea to them because i did it at unh I yeah did the, the trip at unh um so i brought it to minnesota and i pitched to them like hey what do you guys think about this and they were all in yeah and it's it was a blast we did like time we did on the field training um field and workouts um, you know, we did a Braves game. That was a fun. Nice. We did, we, I took them to the aquarium. That was. Oh, that's too. a good one too. Yeah, the Atlanta Aquarium is no joke. They got like whales in there and stuff. Oh, I know. I always wonder how they fit a whale in there. Yeah. Like every time I walk by it, it's like, yeah, hey, there's a there's a whale Crazy. in there right now. Yeah. The, the lake time, like okay, tubing, wakeboarding, or what, what are we no, talking about? No, we we stay away from the water sports. Okay. We have a thing. Is that a PJ Fleck order? No, no, okay. it's a family thing. We don't okay. we don't really like to do that. Uh, just because you can get hurt so easily. Oh from the water yeah. Sports. So we just floated. Uh, nice. you know, had some really good dinners together. My dad and my mom, um, bless them. They were, amazing. <laughs> having, you know, 10 guys in, in the room. Oh yeah. House, um, but cooking really good food and, and dinner for us. And it was just the time off the field that we spent together. That meant a lot. That's going to really contribute to our success. Well, this year. and that's the thing. You have to do this in such an accelerated fashion. You only yeah. have the one year right here. And so you got to make sure they, they know you, you know, them right. and the chemistry's right. Totally. Yeah. And yeah, I think it's a, uh, it's learning about people from their backgrounds and outside of football that really, yeah. that really brings a team together. Yeah. How hard is that? You know, cause you, you have, you played four years at, at New Hampshire, you know, those guys so well to leave that and then embark on this, this new journey. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not easy. It's def It's extremely difficult. Um, number one, just leaving in general. Yeah. The team that you've been with for so long. I was, I was there for five years. I had, yeah. you know, we had COVID, I had an injury. Um, and so I was there for five years and this is my sixth year. Um, so learning how to lead those guys, it, you know, it's you're always learning something new every single year. And then you that kind of gets cut short because now I'm transitioning to a different school where yeah. I have to kind of restart. Um, so I kind of took some tools that maybe I learned from New Hampshire that um, I felt, you know, helped my success as a leader um, and brought them here. And, you know, I think the other side of it is the fact that people are buying into me. Yeah. Um, and that means a lot because ultimately I can't do my job if, if people don't buy into me. How do you make the decision to leave new hampshire mm -hmm. and then say i'm 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 in the portal yeah. and let's let's try this at a different level yeah something about it just just felt like it was time it really did i, I think there's a a piece of me that you know, wanted to stay because it was home and it was family yeah um but i felt like i had to i had to challenge myself yeah and try something new i felt like i i needed to 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 go play on a bigger platform. Mm -hmm. um, and I couldn't be more grateful for my coaches at New Hampshire because, you know, they, they were supportive either way. Um, they weren't, you know, obviously they wanted me to stay. Right. Um, but there was a lot of it that said, hey, like, if you go, like, we're going to be 100% your supporters and yeah. your corner um, because we know your goals and your aspirations and we want to see you succeed as well. And when you narrow those down, how do you decide on Minnesota as a place for you? 
it was the culture um, and the team. And so, you know, meeting Coach Fleck in person was pretty cool. I'd heard about his, his days at Western Michigan. Oh, yeah. Um, and how he kind of transitioned to Minnesota and, you know, brought his culture with him. And it's such a unique culture. Um, and I didn't know if I was going to very, you know, if I was going to blend in very well with it until I got there. And, you know, I met the, the captain's council um, on one of my visits there. And, you know, there was the older guys, it was like fourth mm-hmm. and fifth year guys. And they were, they were amazing. I, I, met, I meshed with them like that. Yeah. And it was a five minute meeting. Um, and you could see the culture was so tangible in the building, you know, everyone, um, it, it's one big family. It really is. And that's what I look for in a school. How, how does it feel? And cause you, you've been in the FCS for your whole career. Does it feel different when you get on the field? Or I, I imagine it feels different when you're in the locker room or the mm-hmm. facility, cause the, the, these big 10 schools have all this stuff, yeah, right? but is it different on the field? I would say, are you talking about like the in the practices like and the then, speed of play? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Working with these teammates and yeah, it's it's definitely a lot different. I, I think the Minnesota practice culture is is unique in its its own, not, right? Not just from FCS to Power Five or Power Four, but in in every single you know part of those P four teams, you, yeah. Minnesota's practices are are legit. Yeah, um, and I, oh, you guys actually hit. They're legit. Oh yeah, yeah, and they're it's it's for a reason. Everything's everything has a reason behind it, and. Um, that's something that was definitely a big transition for me, like practicing in the indoor, which is however million millions of dollars it takes to build that. And in New Hampshire, you know, we practiced outside every day. And in New Hampshire, even when it was snowing and you know spring ball in New Hampshire was awful because we did six a.m. practices, and oh it was God. it was like maybe eight degrees out at six a.m. Um, and you have to just go out and, and just dog it out. And at Minnesota, you know, we get to walk in the indoor because we have it. Yeah. Um, and so there's a little bit of difference in that and you kind of have to realize that, Hey, it's still football. Like, yeah. I'm here for a reason. Um, you know, we, we're all practicing with the same goal in mind. Yeah. Speaking of that, it is still football, but it is different because you're in a video game now. Oh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. What was that like? First time you saw yourself? Very cool. Seeing, seeing, uh, my last name on the jersey was very cool. Um, did they get your face right? I don't, I, I think it's pretty automated, like generate, like AI generated. Oh, it's not. They oh, they really? tried they they oh, they really? had your headshot. Okay, it, I I went down there before they released it. And they were trying to explain to us, yeah. like because the NFL guys they all get scanned at the combine, yeah. so like they have the full body scan of those uh-huh. dudes. There's too many of you guys, right? So they have like they have like 200 hairstyles and 200 face shapes and 200 mm-hmm. mustache combos. Yeah, and so they try. Yeah, but well I, now I got to go into the game and look and and see how close. I'm I, I would say I'm relatively close. Okay, maybe. Um, I know there's some guys on my team who aren't very happy. Oh, uh, like they, I think they made our kicker our righty, but oh no, no <laughs> they get uh, flying an update. He's an all Big Ten kicker too. Like he's legit. Oh. He's he's mad because he's a righty. <laughs> or sorry, he's a lefty. And they made him a righty. Um, I know one of my guys, like Philip Daniels, one of my tackles. Yeah, like they mess his face up so bad <laughs> on the game, and he's a little upset about that. But um, you know, I think the guys are just super grateful to be in the game. Um, Attributes though, do you feel good? Do you do, do you feel like it looks like you? Yeah, I would say yeah, See, generally. The arm speaking. good enough? The yeah. the accuracy good enough? No comment. Everybody could be a little better. Yeah. Even Everybody, Donovan everyone, Edwards, who's on the cover, yeah. was like, I could have been rated a little yeah, higher. Everyone, so. everyone will say they could be a little higher. Um, but I just like that I'm back. the fact that I'm in the game. Is well, cool. hey, when you tear it up first couple of weeks, yeah, hey. they'll, they'll update. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I'll we'll see. Well, good luck, Max. I yeah. appreciate yeah, it. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Just a reminder. Subscribe to this channel right here so you never miss an episode of Andy Staples on 3. And oh, by the way, watch all the other great videos on the On 3 Sports YouTube channel.